In this video, I'm going to show you how to import MIDI files into your GarageBand for iOS projects. Alright, so you'll want to be working in GarageBand's tracks view for this. If you just want to get here and import your files, the easiest way is to head to the drummer in the instrument select screen and just hit acoustic. The tracks view will load up and you can just mute or delete the drummer region here, the reason being that you need to create at least one track to properly access the track view. Anyway, the next step is to tap in the loop icon in the top right of the screen. There are three tabs at the top of this menu. The one we're interested in is the files tab. Tap on files and you'll be able to view a list of any files you've imported to GarageBand previously. I have a couple sitting here already. At the bottom here, you want to tap on browse items from the files app. From here, you can select which folder your files are located in, then tap on which one you want to bring into GarageBand. After a few seconds, you'll see the file appear in the browser. Now it's just a case of tapping, holding, and dragging your file into a new track. Here's where you'll probably hit a bit of a snag though. Only eight bars of your file will play back. When you open a new project in GarageBand for iOS, it defaults to a single section that is eight bars in length. If you bring a file into this default project, it doesn't matter how long the file is, it will only give you access to the first eight bars of it, because by default that's how long the project is. So before you bring your file in, tap on the small plus icon in the top right of GarageBand's tracks area, then tap on section A, then tap on automatic. Now when you bring a MIDI file in, you'll be able to access and listen to it in its entirety. When you import a MIDI file like this, GarageBand will automatically create a software instrument track. Which instruments, or instruments if you import a multi-track MIDI file GarageBand creates, is dependent on the info contained in the MIDI you import. Essentially, MIDI contains data about notes, but not the sounds of the notes. Often, MIDI files you import will include information that GarageBand can use to assign an instrument to each track that's created. I explore this in much more detail in this video where I import MIDI arrangements into four different iOS DAWs, GarageBand, Logic Pro, Cubasis 3 and BandLab, and see which instruments each app uses by default and how they sound. To change the instrument loaded onto a track, tap on the piano icon at the top of the screen, then tap on the instrument icon in the middle of the instrument that loads up and select a new instrument sound from the menu. If you want to try this yourself but don't have access to any MIDI files, I recommend checking out bitmidi.com. It's where I get all of my MIDI arrangement files from, it's free and has a really good selection. I'll put a link to that down below the like button. Right, that's how to import MIDI files into GarageBand for iOS. Let me know your thoughts on importing and using MIDI in GarageBand down in the comments and if you could give that like button a good hard slap on the way past. I'd really appreciate it. And for more info on using MIDI in GarageBand and other iOS DAWs, watch this next. <laughs>